Hi, I'm Talal Al Asmani, and welcome to another segment of Mohab Chat. Today I'm here with Ahmed Arshi and Mohammed Yusuf, two very, very talented writers here in the region and in, specifically in the UAE. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us, guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Um, I want to talk about the challenges of writing in the region. And since you guys are both writers of feature film and of television, and you guys have a lot of experience and the challenges coming from, I think it'll be fair to say, a new school of writing, and then trying to integrate that with um, the challenges here, it'll be great to share those experiences with everybody who's watching. You know, this is a very casual chat, so please feel free to contribute whatever, however way you choose. The first thing I want to ask is, how, and maybe you can start us off, um, how did you manage to get your foot in the door into the writing circle here? In the very beginning, they were looking for writers. And uh, my name came out because I already worked in the States for quite some time. I was an employee at the Emirates Foundation where my job was to give grants to filmmakers and to artists. So I kind of got involved in the film scene over here. And uh, since I was an employee, I wasn't able to do anything of myself for myself. So I was uh, I did things my own way, and um, I entered a few festivals here, and uh, that's where you know it's a small circle at the end of filmmakers here. In the, I'm talking about 2007, and uh, that's when you know we became like a family, and uh, we. Uh, we kind of got integrated into the circle of filmmakers here. See, one thing that was interesting about, um, just as we met before this, is that uh, you're both integrated into circles, but you two have never met, so I'm sure yeah, the no, circle yeah. sort of, you know, there's oh. different um, yeah. you know, segments and different portions that might not meet, so tell me how you got into the industry. I, um, I started, I'm a stand-up comedian, like when I started, I was doing comedy. Okay. So uh, when I was studying in the States, I was doing stand-up. And then uh, when I came back, a friend of mine was starting a, uh, a channel on Ajman TV. Uh -huh. And he thought I was funny and they needed a comedy show. He said, why don't you come and, and talk to the head of the station and, and pitch him your ideas. I said, all right, cool. So I went and I pitched ideas and he said, okay, sounds good. Uh, you're funny. Who's going to write it? And so my friend volunteered that I would write. <laughs> he volunteered yeah, for he you. Yeah, he volunteered <laughs> for me. So, well, I mean, he's the, the comedian. He's got the joke, so he should write the show. Yeah. So I, that's how I started writing. Okay. So ever since then, I've been writing for TV. And then, I think 2007 or 2008, I focused on features. I started writing features. And then that's how I got into it. And I watched interviews with my favorite writers. Mm -hmm. How they got into it and what's their process, how they write. And so how did you get into uh, uh, writing? Was it academic or was it? Yes, uh, I studied. Uh, I have an MFA mm -hmm. in uh, creative writing for film and TV from Ryerson University in Toronto. Okay. And uh, I did my bachelor in uh, film studies and film production. That, that was my uh, undergrad. Yeah. All right. And um, who are your favorite writers? Uh, Luc Bisson. Okay. <laughs> Yours? I love Luc Besson. Luc Besson is actually the model I use for, I, I set up a little development company, so like my dream is to be the yeah. Arab world's Europa Corps. <laughs> Seriously, that guy is just, he just decided he's going to do it himself. Writes, produce, directs. Like, he, he was the best in the 90s. Absolutely, uh, yeah. He, he, he was the master of writing. Leon, Leon is like an yeah. education. Like now in the early 2000s, it's Jonathan Nolan. Yeah. Jonathan what about his writing is it that intrigues you? The characters. You watch The Dark Knight mm -hmm. and you feel like it's not a comic book movie. You know what I mean? I mean, they have explosions and effects and everything, but they're real. Like, even the Joker, who's crazy, it's like, okay, I think I met someone like that. <laughs> you know, like, you can relate to him. Yeah. yeah, I think and, I, I've met someone like the Joker right? in my yeah. life before. And, and uh, their journey and everything is just. The struggles they go through, mm -hmm. like the main characters, is phenomenal. And There's a dark really, side, it's, it's bigger than life, but at the same time, it's real. Yeah, it feels very real. And, and Aaron Sorkin, for me, is... I was waiting, I th I'm sure that name would come up. Oh man, Aaron Sorkin <laughs> yeah. is... Uh, I actually got into writing features because of dialogue, mm -hmm. which I found out years later, that's why Aaron Sorkin got into writing. He was oh. a playwright first, right? Yeah. A Few Good Men was a play. But his thing is dialogue. 
and man, can he write that book? That guy yeah. Well, yeah. when you're when you come from a theatrical background, a theater background, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you you know words, spoken words are one of your biggest tools. Um, which yeah. brings me to my next question, actually, which is, uh, um, you know, television is relatively new in the region. Cinema is even newer. Uh, I think um, what everybody is a lot more familiar with and has a, a longer history is theater. Mm -hmm. um, in the UAE and in Kuwait and the rest of the Gulf, theater has been around for a lot longer. Okay. Writers have um, been uh, employed or hired by in the theater for much more than any other medium. Mm -hmm. um, in many other aspects of television uh, and film, you see some influences from theater that still remain. Um, that's debatable. But that's, that's a thought that is around. If, if you do agree with that, do you see any of that in writing? Oh, big time. Um, theater is dominant here, in TV and in cinema. The masters of theater in the, in the UAE, in Kuwait, in the Gulf have, uh, if you look at them, they, they are now a TV, they are now TV stars. They are TV producers. Some of them now are going, are making films, but they always go back to theater. All the, uh, all the festivals of theater here in Fujairah, in Duba, it's crowded, it's crowded, it's people. Uh, I think one of the reason is that um, there's a philosophy behind theater mm -hmm. that uh, the older generation lived, lived it. Uh, there was no TV, there was no cinema, so theater uh, was the old art that uh, spread uh, and it was taught easily mm -hmm. here. Uh, TV was not never taught, uh, cinema is never taught. Uh, theater still, till now, is the only art that is taught in the region. Only visual narrative. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know, I've talked to people who say that you can't implement Western structure here because the stories here are different yeah. and it'll be seen as Western if you implement a Western story here. What's a Western story? Who universe? The stories are... Structure from the West. The, 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 the conversation was structure from the West. Uh, if you take Western structure and you try to make a story here, it will not feel genuine to here. Now, what are your opinions on that? If the story is written well, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how you structure it. Yeah, and you're gonna have to, there's a journey for any character, whether in the West, East, wherever, right? So mm. you start somewhere and you're going towards something and something is stopping you from getting to that. And then you have to beat this that's stopping you and get to your original your you goal, your yeah. Character, right? It's the same for every story, every good story. I think you were trying to answer that. Um, if you wanna remake uh, a Western piece mm. uh, in, uh, into Arabic, there's something called adaptation, mm -hmm. where we will have to adapt it into the culture, yes. You can't, uh, you know, if you have a story from Japan with a samurai, you can't bring samurai Sorry. into UAE, so you'll have to yeah, switch it to a Bedouin, a Bedouin yeah. for instance. Um, if you're going to go to the Vikings, a story of a Viking, you can't have that. Maybe you'll have Ahmed bin Majid, for instance, the ship with the ships and stuff. You know, that's the closest that can get to the Vikings. Uh, so adaptation is there. And the West has adapted uh, Eastern pieces before, like Old Boy. Mm -hmm. You know, Spike Lee did. Uh, of course, uh, did, did that as well. He took the. the, the it's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Uh, he, he crushed it. Old Boy, for instance, uh, has nothing to do with Korea. Has nothing to do Absolutely with the not. nothing. Yeah. Not, uh, it's not. It's not a cultural thing. It's a story. Yeah. It's a dark story. It's very gory. It, it's brilliant. And he tried to uh, adapt it into the American culture, and he failed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, it's not only about bringing West to the East. Uh, there's a lot of East. Uh, for instance, The, de the Departed, uh, that won Academy Award. Uh, it was a, a remake of Infernal Affairs. And Infernal Affairs is brilliant. And uh, The Departed was as brilliant as that as well. And they changed a lot in it as well. Mm -hmm. and so it's adaptation. You know, rule number one in adaptation, never, re never be faithful to the original piece. Never be faithful. Never be faithful mm -hmm. to the original piece. Because you'll never be as good as that. No, because, you know, there's you adaptation be, from yeah. novel to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, f to screen. So this is what adaptation is. Mm -hmm. You can get me a story from the West, I can adapt it into us, but there are rules as well into adaptation.
Yeah. I have to look into it and everything. I'll change a lot. I'll, pr I'll probably change the ending. I'll probably add characters. But the plot will be the same. OK. Yeah, it's not a story. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, not just here. Uh, in, in Hollywood, mm -hmm. uh, in the UK, in most of the um, you know, bigger film industries, it's always difficult to find a good script. It's one of the you know, hardest things to do. Mm -hmm. And I've you know, heard this from many different people that I've talked to, from biggest producers to mm -hmm. you know, filmmakers who are looking for someone to help write, write with, to shoot a short film even. Why is it so hard to find a good script? The scripts, uh, writing a script is, it's not magic. Mm -hmm. It's not like you know, just uh, snap your fingers and there's a script right there, right? But I think now the, the one of the reasons is that writers are stopping writing uh, scripts in spec. Mm. They are waiting to um, be commissioned. And not everybody is commissioning uh, nowadays. They're looking to option more than commission. So spec is when you write something for free and you wait for someone to pick it up. Uh, option is when someone um, basically buys the rights to the script for a certain period of time and then it can go back to the writer if it hasn't been produced then. Uh, script, you, you are writing a visual thing. So it's very different than writing a novel. You're not writing, you're not using words. You're using images. And uh, not a lot of people have that uh, in them. Uh, especially the self-trained uh, ones or self-educated uh, 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 writers. It's really hard to write uh, images. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll find them writing maybe two specs and waiting it to be picked up. And if they're not picked up, they kind of feel, uh, um, they feel, they give up. The uh, Arab Film Studio uh, competition okay. program uh, is now adding a new uh, a new version of it, and it's the Arab Film Studio screenwriting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, this, this is going to be the first time that that is offered. Nice. Uh, so before it was just the narrative, then the documentary. Mm -hmm. Now there's one that's you know uh, predominantly for screenwriters. And so it'll be um, an honor if you guys, at uh, any time during this um, period, come and visit the screenwriters. Sure, I would love to because I, I, I do that in my free time. I teach whoever wants to learn like a one-on-one -on -one or, right. yeah, 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 it's uh, because we have a lack, because everybody wants to be either an actor or a director, but they, they're not looking as a writer, or they're not looking even for a cameraman or anything. Please keep doing what you're doing, because we there are there is a lack of writers in the region, and uh, I am very honored to know both of you, and thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure to thank sit down so and talk to you. Thank you. thank you. Well, until next time, thank you.